morning. I'm Will Schofield. It is uh, September the 24th, 2021, and I'm going to just give some very quick updates today. Uh, and they're not all going to be about COVID, but uh, first and foremost, uh, I remember a time 16 years ago when the Hall County School District, uh, one of our goals, one of our strategic teaching and learning goals uh, was to equal the Georgia state average on SAT scores. At that time, Georgia lagged the national average. Uh, I'm very proud of our students, incredibly proud of our pre-K through high school teachers. Uh, that this past year, not only did Hall County School District significantly beat the state average, which has risen a great deal over the last 10 years, but absolutely shattered the uh, national average for public school students, uh, with a 1086 being the average for Hall County School District students. So great job, job students, uh, great job team members, great job families uh, as we prepare our students for the next step after high school. COVID. Uh, let's just talk very quickly about COVID. First of all, uh, we certainly are pleased and thankful that our active cases as of today are down 70% uh, from our peak. Uh, as of today, we have only one of 37 schools uh, that we have mandated masks. Uh, that is to scheduled to uh, expire at the end of today, and we will continue to hope that the trends continue. I want to thank our custodial staffs. I want to thank all of our schools for the mitigations uh, that they continue to do to try to prevent spread. Um, and once again, I also want to make you aware that uh, we also are piloting uh, some ultraviolet light treatment air of the air uh, in a couple of our schools. Uh, there certainly is some hopeful information out there about what happens when you treat viruses with ultraviolet light. And we certainly want to be uh, try to be on the front edge of some of that. I want to just take a second to talk about what what my experience is telling me. Some of the things that we continually say that people don't hear. Uh, please understand, I'm not saying what we say that people don't agree with. I certainly can appreciate, and I'm very thankful to live in a country where it's your right to disagree um, or to agree. But some of the things that, uh, that we've said over and over again that people just don't seem to hear, I wanted to highlight three of those today. Once of all, one of the greatest things you can do for us to help uh, slow down the spread and to beat this uh, COVID pandemic is if you're not feeling well, and I'm talking about um, our team members, I'm talking about students, or if, and, and, and as parents, if your children are not feeling well, please keep them home um, of the very few number of outbreaks that we've had this year. Uh, several of them were traced to students who were sent to school that didn't feel well. Uh, some even that had outstanding COVID tests in their immediate family. And once again, I would just implore you, I would beg you that if you are not feeling well, if your child is not feeling well, please stay home, get tested, make sure you're okay before you come to school. Uh, that's something we all can do for each other. Uh, Again, I'm not interested in a mass debate uh, for 50 years. Uh, it's been pretty clear science that masks do not prevent much of anything, particularly cloth masks. Cloth mask. However, we do know that, that masking does slow down the spread of airborne diseases. Uh, and we also have learned over the last 19 months that masks have some incredibly negative effects, particularly for our youngest learners. So when you put a mask on a child all day long, uh, certainly you may keep them from getting the flu. You may reduce their chances of getting COVID and there are negatives that come along with that. We are very aware of it, that there are positives and negatives uh, on both sides. And that's why we make our determinations on a day by day basis. Finally, uh, it is a very personal health decision, but the data it seems to be extremely clear that individuals who are vaccinated for COVID uh, have, are much more likely to have the uh, extreme severe symptoms if they develop COVID. Uh, and again, that's not Dr. Will speaking, that's just pure data that if you have been vaccinated for COVID, you don't tend to er end up uh, in the ICU ward at the local hospital. So again, we do encourage people to visit with their health professional and at least consider uh, COVID vaccination. Finally, we are short of bus drivers, as is the rest of the world. Uh, we're taking, continuing to take concrete steps to try to move towards having more bus drivers. First of all, we've had a paid training program in place for a long time. If people are interested in a very uh, competitively paying 
a part-time job, they can uh, they can call our transportation department. And we'll actually train you if you qualify to be a bus driver. And we also are, uh, much like many of our neighbors, have begun paying a uh, bonus for existing bus drivers with CDLs that want to come to work for the Hall County School District. So that's $1,200. So if you know a bus driver or someone who has a bus driving license that is looking for something to do, again, please have them contact uh, our transportation department. It's an absolute honor uh, to serve this community, to be involved in supporting our families as we raise our most precious resource. And just want to encourage you to have a great day. Uh, the weather seems to have changed and it looks like it's going to be 75, 80 degrees and sunny for the next week. Have a great weekend and thank you. Uh, from the Hall County School District.